Multilingual GP translates the Microsoft Dynamics GP version 10 user interface, reports, forms, and data. In this presentation, we're taking a look at the sales order processing screen. And I want to show you down in the right hand corner where you can see the system tray. I've right clicked on the multilingual GP icon and you can see the different languages that we have to choose from. Currently selected is Chinese Simplified. If we would like to switch this back to English for a second, we can see that the data is a black phone. Um, but we can go back, right click, and switch it to German or Italian. Let's just cycle through. So this is a little bit of Italian. I just want to show you each of the in each of these dictionaries <coughs> uh, with the translation can be changed. So that's Italian. Let's take a look at German. And you can see this basically reloading the dictionary into memory and updating not only the screen but also the data. So we'll also take a look at French. And this is French. French European French. Let's take and switch to Japanese. As you can see, I'm not logging out of Dynamics GP. I'm simply going to the system tray, selecting a different language, and everything uh, changes right after it refreshes. And we can take a look at Arabic. So we're cycling along through. Basically, it's, all, it's the same data, same screen, sales order processing screen. Uh, now you're seeing it in Arabic. So you're seeing that the user interface and the data is translated. Uh, let's take a quick look at Portuguese. There's a lot of demand for Portuguese. And let's take a look at Korean. As you can see, we cycle through various different languages in a very short time frame. Uh, and you can see that it immediately refreshes the screen. And let's take it back to Chinese, the simplified Chinese. We can basically add any language that you would like. Uh, just give us a few weeks to set up the configuration. Uh, but we've just put these 10 different languages in to give you an example of how it works. But one other thing, you can also print these. So let's go up to the top right hand corner and let's print the invoice. And we're going to print this invoice um, in Chinese. And I'm also going to change it um, so that it prints to a PDF file at the same time. So we'll click on print. We'll send it to the screen so that you'll be able to see that not only does the interface and the data uh, print in the targeted language. And I'll just overwrite the existing Chinese PDF file. We'll reopen that after we take a look at the screen. So as you can see, the invoice printed to the screen in Chinese. If we printed it out to a hard copy, it would also still be in Chinese. But just to demonstrate, you could actually email the PDF file that we just created. what we'll do is um, open up the invoice folder where I just printed the Chinese invoice to a PDF. And what this allows you to do once it's in a PDF uh, you can then simply email a PDF to the customer or a vendor. Uh, this way uh, if you're working from a, a different language and your, than your customer or vendor, you would be able to send them their invoices or purchase orders uh, in the language they prefer. In this particular example, I'm showing you uh, an invoice that is in, in, uh, in Chinese. So you could simply go up here and email it and it would still get to the customer and it would still be in uh, Chinese. So very short order you saw that we cycled through about 10 different languages. You can see that the interface, <coughs> the data, and the reports are all in the targeted language. So although, you, again, you only saw 10 languages in demo, we can configure multilingual GP for any language. So please contact us at 
www.multilingualgp.com to request other languages or to learn more. If there's anything in this demo uh, that we could improve on, again, please let us know at www.multilingualgp.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch our presentation.